well tubes, it looks like the budding romance between Cobes and Naked and Laughing is over before it really started. No dry spells will be ended and no bog babies will be created. Cobes put out a video saying he is done. I'm officially done with Jessica Naked and Laughing because she's going on stream. She's going on stream saying I have an ego and oh, I'm just so ugly. Poor me. Wham. And it's like, you know what? Jessica's a little too emotional for my taste. I'm sorry. Okay, I tried to make it work, but she wants to spin the tale how she's going to spin it. That's her deal. But when she was sitting there drinking on camera and going, well, Josh has an ego, I'm like, yeah, no, I don't. Girl, I do not have a fucking ego. And, like, when you try to explain things to her, she turns it around and says, Can I get my thoughts out? God, and fucking, when I was talking to her, and I wasn't being mean about it, but I did call her out on her shit without being mean about it, she would get so fucking mad, and she would threaten to break her phone and not go live again. And I'm like, that affects nobody, honey. Ooh, burn. And she likes to break phones, too? Well, I guess you guys did have a lot in common. But like, no, Jessica wants to sit there and say I have a fucking ego and this and that. I'm like, no. No, I don't. I don't care if Jessica's the goth chick of my dreams. I don't care what she looks like. I tried to give her a fucking chance. But her emotions did it to her. Not me. You know what I'm saying? Here's, here's the thing of it. I've barely known Jessica for a month. And she's already talking about wanting to marry me and have kids. And God, could you imagine? We haven't even gone on a first date yet. Yikes. And then on top of that, she's like, well, if Josh rejects me, then I'm just going to stay single the rest of my life. And I'm like, where to gaslight me and make me feel like shit if I don't give you a chance? I'm like, I was going to fucking buy her a plane ticket to come out and see me, but... You know what I'm saying? She cares way too much about what other people think, and it's just sad. And she has so many self-deprecating issues that are worse than mine. And it's really kind of sad, to be honest. You know, like, you want to sit there and say, I have a fucking ego. Uh, uh. And I'm like, fuck that. And here's another thing. Jessica talks about how horrible her life is. I can't speak for her life personally, but honey, you're almost 40 years old and you still live at home with mommy and daddy. Imagine getting owned by Cobes. And by, the, by their grace, they're giving you a roof over your head and they put up with your shit. I'd be a bit more grateful if I was you. Okay. I mean, no, you wouldn't. Because when I was like in my early 20s, I moved out. My parents were like, well, you're sick and tired of our fucking rules, then move out. And that's exactly what I did. You know? I guess, but you're not exactly the poster child for success and independence. And I'm proud of myself for that, but that's beside the point. You want to sit here and say I have a fucking ego? Okay. Okay, for the record, Jessica scared me off. It wasn't my YouTube trolls. Her overly emotional fucking female bullshit. Like, there we go. There's a classic Cobes misogyny we're looking for. I acknowledge that women are going to be emotional by nature. I get that. Women are emotional creatures, and people should be allowed to express their emotions. But literally, her hypocrisy is what did it, dude. 100%. She would sit there and go, Oh, Josh, I'm worried about your drinking. But then she, she gets blackout drunk on stream, too. And then whenever I try to give her a compliment, like, Oh, Jessica, I think you're, you know, she'd tell me, No, I'm not. Shut up. And then as soon as I degrade myself, she'd tell me the same thing. Like, no, fuck that. Fuck that, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm done. Good luck with your life, Jessica. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ.
I think everyone saw this coming, though. Cobes simply cannot be bothered or told what to do. His bad boy goth heart cannot be tamed. It's really for the best, though. I feel like if they would have met in person, someone would have got stabbed and it probably would have been him. Let's see how Naked and Laughing is handling the rejection. Like, Josh can like whoever, like, he can love his whatever from beyond. I, I, Josh doesn't love me, all right? We're not going to meet. I'm just telling you the truth. So whoever Josh meets up with, it's not going to be me. It's not going to be whatever the fuck her name is, whatever her name is, whatever her name, whatever her name is. The, the he cheated on some bitch for a cigarette and whatever her name is her name her name her name me and josh are not a couple thinking he doesn't want me i'm ugly i'm too ugly for him okay so what josh wants is what josh needs if that's what he wants then so be it. I'm I'm not it. I've never been anybody's fucking choice within my fucking life. So that's fine. Sorry you're feeling so rough, Goral. Maybe a ham sandwich and a nap would help. I don't want a ham sandwich. I'll I'll take your ham sandwich and fucking kick it across the fence. So hopefully when the doggy dog goes outside, they go, ooh, free ham sandwich. Mm. Or not. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this recent development, and I'll see you later. All right. Toodaloo, folks. <laughs>